how to refurbish a DL Pro with Carlos Rendon from Hoskin Scientific. Hello, my name is Carlos Rendon and I am one of the technicians from Hoskin Scientific. Today I'm here to show you how to condition and change the membrane of a DO, galvanic DO probe for your YSI Pro Plus. Hi. So the YSI Pro Plus has the ability to be equipped with four probes. We have the temperature conductivity, the pH, the ORP, and the DO probe. Today we're talking about the DO probe, so let me show you how to unscrew it. You want to take the DO probe, which usually has a membrane on it colored blue, black, or yellow. It has specific little tabs on the probe so that you can twist it much simpler than the others. So take your fingers, not a tool, and turn the probe until it removes itself from the bulkhead. YSI recommends replacing the DO membrane at least every two months. If your DO probe is being used more often, you may want to start changing the membrane when you see a large buildup of calcium. The calcium is built up underneath the membrane because of the oxygen molecules interacting with the anode and the cathode. To remove the cap, flip the probe upside down and twist it, the cap off. Now you can see the buildup of calcium on this specific DO probe. So now that we've taken the membrane off of the DO probe, you're going to want to purchase a membrane replacement kit. It will come with six membranes, a sanding disc, and electrolyte solution crystals. First, take some DI water and spray the probe and spray the disc. You want to do some wet sanding on this. You don't want to sand it with the dry disc. Now take the disc and wrap it around the probe and twist the probe in place. You want to remove all the calcium buildup from the probe so that you can see the metal on the probe again. Spray some more DI water just to clean off anything that is left and take another look. If it needs more cleaning, feel free to do so. This one is quite dirty so it's going to take a little bit more than usual. You can see that there's a lot of buildup near the bottom. And you're going to want to take the disc and really get into that little crevice. Now you can see the metal is back on the trope here and we've taken off most of the calcium solution buildup. That has pretty much taken care of the cathode portion of the probe and now you want to clean the anode portion. The anode is the gold disc on top, so spray some more DI water on it take your sanding disc in your hand, put the probe upside down, and twist against the paper. You want to go in the same circular motion and remove any buildup or discolorment on the gold portion of the probe. And now we have a clean deal probe. So now that we have the DO probe clean, you want to mix the solution up. In every kit comes electrolyte solution crystals. Fill it up with DI water up to the bottle's neck and give it a good shake. 
When you have that solution ready, it is time to put it inside the membrane. Fill up the membrane with the solution all the way till it overflows. When you have the solution ready inside the membrane, take the DO probe upside down and you want to push down and twist. All the extra solution that is not needed will be coming out the sides and that is okay. You do not want to make any air bubbles so it's a slow gentle twist downward. When you bottom out, Turn the probe over and check to see if you see any air bubbles on the membrane. This one looks good. We have replaced the DO membrane. We want to reinstall it onto our Quattro cable. You want to use some Crytox cream, lubricate the O-rings. Put a little bit on your finger and coat the O-rings with a thin layer of the Crytox. Don't forget that every time you replace a probe, you should lubricate the O-rings. Now grabbing the bulkhead in one hand and the probe in the other, you would want to twist the probe all the way down past the O-rings. Give it one final twist when you bottom out just to make sure you're there. Think the membrane, you want to let that sit for a couple hours before actually using it. 